Words. Right. So in report and dashboard, first thing that we have to understand, why are we creating reports in Salesforce? Because we have all the data uh, stored in Salesforce, right? You will do reporting where you have data, right? You need data points to do reports. So the reason why we are doing reports in Salesforce is the fact that we have all our data stored in Salesforce. So when I have all the data in Salesforce, it makes sense for me to do the reporting also. Okay. Now, uh, reporting is very simple thing, uh, possibly the most simple, the simplest of the things which uh, we are going to do in this entire course. All that you have to do is you just have to answer a few questions before you start creating a report and it's all a matter of, you know, certain point and clicks and you can create your reports. Okay. So, first of all, to create a report, the question number one that you should ask is, which object you want to use in the report or which objects okay so do you want to create a report for opportunities or accounts or contacts or leads or campaigns or something else right that's the first question okay which fields you want to display in the report Once you have decided on the object, the next question that you need to answer is, which all fields are required on the report? Do you need to show, let's say I am creating an, uh, I'm creating an account report. So in that account report, which all fields are to be displayed? Are we talking about displaying the account name, website, industry, number of employees, revenue, what exactly? So which fields are we going to display on account or on the account report? What filters I want to put there? That's the next question. Do you want to put any filter or any criteria? What filters or what criteria you want to put on the report? Let's say I want a report of all the opportunities from November 2015. So the filter is where the created date is November 2015, correct? So that's about the filters. <clears throat> Which format you want to use for report? Uh, there are four report formats. One is tabular. One is summary. <clears throat> summary matrix and join right <clears throat> so we have these four report formats tabular summary matrix and join okay which format of the report you want to use that's the next question do you want a tabular or a summary matrix or general report. And after this, next question should be, what do you want to do with the report? Okay, so the next question is, what do you want to do with the report? Once the report is created, what do you exactly want to do with that report? Once you have formed the report, you have selected the object, field, filters, format, everything. What would you like to do with your report? Do you want to save it? Do you want to print it? Export it? You can print, export, save for future use.
or schedule scheduling means scheduling a report means defining a schedule so uh, for a report so if you define a schedule the report will be automatically run as per the defined schedule and it will be sent to specified users okay so sometimes you have that kind of requirement that uh, someone in the company needs a report every friday so instead of you doing it manually every time you can just define go ahead and define the schedule for it. got it so that's the next thing so these are five questions that you have to understand and if you have the answer to these five questions before you start creating a report whenever you have a requirement for creating a report try to answer you know try to break that requirement into the answers of these five questions if you have the answer to these five questions your reporting stuff becomes very very simple clear so let me just go and create a report for uh, opportunity so i just want to create a report for all the opportunities which were created in december 2015 let's say okay so in that report okay so i am telling you to go ahead and create a report for opportunity of 2015 so here which object opportunity what all fields you need that's what you have to decide uh portal fields i need let's say i need uh, opportunity name account name stage and uh, amount and expected revenue so these are the fields so what all fields you want to display in the report what is the filter criteria the date is in December 2015. Format tabular. What do you want to do? Save it or schedule it. Okay. So the moment you have the answer to these questions, now it's just a matter of a few point and clicks. That's it. So all that you have to do, you have to do uh, to understand. these uh, you know to break the requirement into these five pieces and then it's just a matter of a few clicks so let's go ahead and create this report now i know all these things i need to create an opportunity report please filter everything is decided okay to create a report you have to go to the reports tab create a report just go to the report tab and in the report tab all that you have to do is click on new report create the report select your object here you want to create a report for opportunity select opportunities click on create now this will take you to the report builder screen this is report builder screen now on the report builder screen you will see all your fields are listed in the left hand side all your filters are here and this is the preview section this is where you can actually preview the report so just say remove all columns click on okay and bring the columns that you want there were certain columns which are being displayed by default but i did not want to use them you can just go ahead and say which column you need so for example i need opportunity name you can search the fields also i need account name 
then you need uh, opportunity name account name and then what else do you need i need uh, stage i need amount and expected revenue right so we need opportunity name account name stage amount and expected revenue these are the fields that we need so we have uh, selected the fields that are to be displayed now the third point what filter filter will be created date from 1st december to 31st december December 2000 to 31st December, right? So that's the filter I have put. So these are all the opportunities which have been created within December 2015. So here is the report. This is a tabular format report, table kind of a format, right? So your report is ready. There's nothing that you have to do, <coughs> right? Now, in case instead of displaying the tabular report, tabular report is a you know a table kind of a report format which displays all data points. Like each and every single record is being displayed here. Let's say I want the report in a slightly different manner. I say that I don't want to see all the data points. Rather, I would be interested in looking into the breakup of these opportunities by stage. How many of these opportunities and what is the total amount under? each and every stage like how many of the opportunities are under qualification how many of are there under negotiation how many of them are closed one okay that's a summary report so you want to summarize the data based on a certain field <coughs> got it so how do you do that you just have to change the format so tabular report format is clear what exactly we see in the tabular format before i go into the summary format Tabular format is the generic format where you will be displayed a table of all the data points. But every time the person who is viewing the report might not be interested in looking into all the data points. Okay? Because most of the times we use reports for doing some sort of analysis. Now I just want to understand that uh, what is the, uh, you know, how does my pipeline look? How many opportunities are stuck at which stage? So let me have a look into that. So for that you have to create a summary report. Okay. <clears throat> Go and change the format to summary format. Okay. The moment you change it to summary format, it will give you an option of drop a field here to create a grouping. So it give, shows you an option of doing the grouping. <clears throat> now all that you need to do is you just have to go and drag the stage field. Because stage field is what I want to use for grouping. Drag and put that here. See. Now it has segregated the records based on their stage. See, under negotiation review, there are two records. Under closed one, there are there are these eleven records. Under proposal, there is one. Under decision makers, there are two. Right. <coughs> Now I also want to summarize the amount and expected revenue. So whatever records are there, for example, under value proposition, there are two records. I want to do the sum of these two and display it corresponding to the stage name. So all that you have to do is the field that you want to summarize, go and click on that field and say summarize this field. Click on sum, click on apply. Same way for expected revenue. Click on summarize this field, click on sum and then apply. <clears throat> Alright, so that part is done. Now you have to go and click on remove details and remove drop zones. So details will remove the detailed records which were being displayed. 
because I don't want to see the detailed record. That's the reason why I switched to summary. So you can just go and remove the details and remove the drop zone. If you don't remove the drop zone, then this drop zone will be still visible. <coughs> So your report is ready. We have stage, amount, expected revenue, which stage, what is the total amount, what is the total expected revenue for which stage, everything is being displayed here. Correct. So this is a summary report. You can pick any field and based on that field you can summarize the data. That's a summary report. Got it. <coughs> summary format. Now let's say uh, we want to understand it a little further and we want to understand it the breakup of the stages by industry. Okay. If uh, the total closed one is this much 2.2 million for closed one I now want to understand how much of it comes from which industry so I want the breakup by stage plus I want to add one more criteria let's say industry now what are you going to do that's going to be a matrix format report so in a matrix format report in addition to this axis, I will add one more axis here. So I will list down the industries here. Okay, my industries will get listed here and stages will be listed here and you will be able to see the breakup of stages by industries. Okay, so how do you do that? All that you have to do is you just have to go ahead and click on matrix format report. Okay, so we have to just go ahead and change the format to matrix format. Change it to matrix format. The moment you change it to matrix format, you will see one more drop field option here. Okay. Industry. See. Now industries have got listed uh, horizontally, stages are listed vertically and you have the breakup. So go ahead and remove the record count from here. Yes. So earlier you just had the figure of closed one total. Now closed one total is 2.2 million but out of that this much comes from transportation, this much is from hospitality, this is from energy this is from electronics so you have a proper breakup so whenever you have to form a report which has uh, which needs to be uh, you know grouped based on two fields then you can do a matrix report okay. right or if you just want to understand for energy industry what is the pipeline like for energy industry, this much is in proposal price quote, this is in negotiation review, and this is closed one. So this is, this is the total for our energy industry. Got it? Simple. So you just have to understand what exactly you need to do with the report which object, which fields, which filters and then what format. So if you just want to, uh, if you, uh, the client is asking only for the detailed records list, go ahead with the tabular format, which is a very simple tabular format. If the client says that no, I want to summarize the data based on the one particular field, then use your summary format. If the client says that I want uh, the summary is to be done based on two fields then convert it into a matrix form clear okay now the next question what will you do with the report let's say your report is ready this is the report that you were looking at 
what would you do with this report? So you have these options as I said, you can print it, you can export it. So just click on run report button there and that will take you to this screen. You have the option of exporting the data, you have the option of printing the data, you can save it, customize. If you click on customize, it will take you back to the same screen, report builder screen. Show details will show you the detailed records which I don't want. And then you have the option of going to run report and click on schedule future runs. Scheduling future runs means uh, the same process. You can define a schedule so that this report can be run on a defined frequency and it will be emailed to the specified users. So let's go and define the schedule. So go to schedule future runs and define the schedule for it. Give it a name, opportunity stage uh, industry report. Whatever name you want to do. Save it. So whenever you are trying to schedule it, it will automatically first of all save the report. So it has got saved. Now you define this uh, frequency or schedule of the report here. Okay. What will be the frequency we want this report to get executed every day or weekly or monthly? So let's make it weekly. I say every Thursday this should be sent. This should be sent to whom? After running the report, it should be emailed to whom? You can email the report to yourself or you can also email it to some other users. <clears throat> okay, if you want to send it to some other user, you can remove your name and you can add some other user. Here we just have one user. Right. <clears throat> so that's the thing. You can define the frequency and the recipient of the report. That's it. Then go ahead and specify a start date and end date for the schedule. So let's say it starts on 23rd <coughs> December and it will continue till 23rd January. That's fine. Preferred start time. What is your preferred start time? Because this is a developer edition, you just have two or three options available preferred starting but on a normal edition uh, you know, an enterprise edition or something paid edition you will have the option of selecting any time from the 24 hours right so here you just have two options available right now let's say you select 10 pm this preferred start time is just an indicative time I mean, it's not the, not the exact time when the person will receive the report this is where the pro when the process will start and actual report might be received a little later also. Maybe let's say 15, 20 minutes, half an hour delayed. Okay. Exact start time will depend on job queue activity. Same report schedule. <coughs> Done. So you created the report and you have scheduled the report. Fine. So that's what we have done. How to create a report from going to creating a report to the point where you save the report or schedule the report. Clear? Let me know if anyone has a question or doubt here on the reports. So creating report. Just go to the reports tab, click on new report, select the object and go to select the object for which you want to create the report. And click on create. Pick the fields that you want. Select the filters. Define the filter criteria. Change the format as per your requirement. And then once you are ready with your report, click on run report. And from run report, you just have to go and 
see what exactly you want to do with that report so that's again one of the questions what would you do with the report do you want to schedule it do you want to save it and all so you just have to do that part. clear okay now we have talked about uh, tabular summary and metrics there's one more uh, format report format which is a joint report format Also, joint report format. Joint report format basically is a report which can have multiple report types. Look at this. When you go to the reports tab, when you click on new report, and you are selecting on the object. This is basically called a report type. So, these opportunities is a report type. Select report type. Right. So now I have selected a report type opportunities and then I created a report. Sometimes you may have a requirement of combining multiple report types in the same report. Like, so you are creating a report for opportunity. You might want to combine one more report type into that. That can be contacts. You might want to include one more for cases. Okay. So a joint report will actually allow you to combine multiple report types together in one report. Okay. So the example can be you have an opportunity report. Okay. You have a report for contacts. You have a report for cases. Okay, two different reports. But your client says that I want to see all these reports together. Okay. Because in opportunities there is a contact field, uh, sorry, account field. Opportunity is a child of account. In contact report also there is an account field. And in cases also there is an account field. So now my client says that, hey, you know what, I want to see all these reports together like this okay. first of all show me the opportunities then show me the contacts and then show me the cases okay so that you have a clear visibility and on one report only you can see all three reports but these are three different report types. Opportunity is different, contact is different, cases is different. Join report will allow you to join these reports and put it under one report. Got it? So let's do it and see. And this can only be done because there is a common field available. You cannot join any report. You can only join reports where there is something common, one common object or something like that. Okay? So that's the thing one common field or common object or something has to be there otherwise you cannot join reports so let's create a joint report we'll take the same example we'll combine opportunity contact and cases report So all that you have to do is you just have to go to so we are already on the report so let's not go to the reports thing let's straight away start creating the report okay let's start from the reports tab itself so go to the reports tab the same way go to new report select a certain report type let me pick contacts and accounts report type created so this is a report type which is used for displaying contacts and accounts correct so let me say first name last name title okay 
email and account okay so this is my first report for the contacts filter i don't want to put any filter let me see all the data so that's fine okay now you want to combine opportunities report with this contact report is ready you want to bring in one more report type it out opportunities and cases so you just have to go and change the format to joint format okay the moment you change it to joint format you will see that this particular report has been named as block 1 which means you can add another block okay how will you add another report here you have to go to this add report type button at the top we have a button called add report type click on this add report type button right and in add report type button you just have to go ahead and add the report type the other report type that i want to use is opportunities so let me select and click on it see your opportunity report has come as block 2 So the fields that you don't need, you can remove those fields. Drag and remove. Remove all column option is not here, so you just have to drag and remove these fields. Or you can just click on this drop down and say remove column. I don't need this also. Okay, I need the opportunity name, amount, and expected revenue. That's it. All right. Okay. Now you don't see any data under this. The reason is the filter is there. We just have to go and remove the filter. If you scroll down here. you will see that now because you have two different blocks of reports because you actually have two different reports on this there are two filter sections one is for contacts and accounts the other is for opportunities so let me make it all time so see now the data has come here that's the second block you can add a third block also okay but the problem is before i add third block now it is not making any sense actually all the contacts are listed here all the opportunities are listed here so ultimately your report is not making much of a sense why are we putting them together because we wanted them to display data based on a common field now the drop field which you see here has to be a common field which is common in this report as well as this report so what is that common field its account go and put the account name here remove details and remove the okay. which fields you want to summarize i want to summarize amount
and I want to summarize the expected revenue. Now we can remove the details in the drop zone also. See. Now for each account, it gives you the count of the contacts, it gives you count of the opportunities, it gives you total amount for each account, it gives you total expected revenue. So these are two different reports actually, but I am trying to display them based on one common field. Same ways, if you want to bring in the cases also here. Just click on add report type and then go to customer support reports, say cases. Click on OK. okay. So here it is. Cases then. Right. Do we see this? So this is how simple it is. To create a report, a joint report. So I've combined three reports here. One contact, one opportunity, one cases. But again, as I said, it will make sense. You can actually combine reports the way I was creating earlier without having a common field. But there is no point actually creating a report like that. You just don't want to display two, three tables. You want to make it a meaningful report here so that people can actually, you know, quickly have a look into it. For Dickinson, I can now see that I have one contact. This is where I have actually got this much of uh, revenue. All right. I do not have any cases pending from here. So you are getting a complete information about the accounts, contacts, opportunities, cases. So this is where your joint report can be helpful. All right. So whenever you are creating a joint report, try to have a common field that will help. Got it? Now let me know if anyone has a question on this. Any doubts? No? We are good? Right. As I said, it's very, very simple. All that you have to do is you just have to understand the requirement. The biggest challenge that people face while working with reports is they do not understand the requirement. If you know what exactly you have to do, then you should not have any problem. Okay? So that's the thing. You just have to understand what kind of a report is required. And then it's just a matter of you know selecting the fields and filters and that's it. Okay. Now coming to the dashboard part. Dashboard is even more simpler. What is a dashboard? Dashboard is basically collection of reports. Dashboard is a collection of reports. So if you have two, three, four different reports and you want to display them on the same interface, that's a dashboard. So when I am actually displaying multiple reports on the same interface, I also want my end user to, um, in a way, you know, I want my end user to be able to understand those reports properly. On the same interface, if you put three, four tables, then what will happen? There are three or four tables in the same uh, interface, then what will happen? The end user will not be able to make any sense out of it, right? So for that reason, you have to create a dashboard. And in dashboard, you have to make sure that you are using or uh, displaying the reports in a graphical format. Not just three tables, but three reports in graphical format. So in dashboard, you will have your reports displayed in the form of in the form of charts or graphs okay. 
correct how do we do this let's create a dashboard and see uh, for creating a dashboard you just need to go to the reports tab you don't need to go to the dashboard tab you just have to go to the reports tab click on new dashboard and under that new dashboard this is the screen this is the dashboard builder screen you see there are three columns okay you can bring your reports on these columns in dashboard there are two things one is your data source one is the component data source is the report that you want to display here let's say this one this one but the moment you drag a report here it does not show you anything you have to add a component to it what kind of a chart you want to add into it so here the report needs to be combined as i said in a dashboard if you just display the data in form of tables does not make any sense see okay so you can have different different reports but you can create a dashboard which will help you convert your dashboard into uh, sorry convert your reports into charts and your dat dashboard becomes a lot more meaningful right so before you create the dashboard you have to make sure that you are ready with all the reports bring in the reports here and select the kind of component or kind of chart that you want to use for that report let's say this is my sales report this is my campaigns report and here we have sales report campaigns report and uh, here we have uh, let's say uh, customers okay so that's basically about our dashboard now if you have more reports to be put in one dashboard you can actually put them in the second row also in one row you can put three but in second row you can put more reports you can put up to 20 uh, reports in your dashboard Okay. And then we have a second row of reports also. Go to components. Right. So now here we have six reports. So once you are ready with your dashboard, once your dashboard is ready, all that you have to do is you just have to save the dashboard. Okay, just go ahead and save the dashboard, and your dashboard is ready. Now, how will your users find this dashboard? How will they see the dashboard? For the users to see the dashboard, all that they have to do is they have to go to the dashboard tab. See, so remember this: for creating a dashboard, you have to go to the reports tab. 
In the reports tab, you have the button for new dashboard. That's where you create it. But for the users to view the dashboard, they should go to the dashboard tab. And in dashboard tab, they should go ahead and create the dashboard. Oh, sorry, view the dashboard. So whichever dashboard you want to see, you can just select. There's another dashboard. Dashboard again. Then this dashboard two. Okay, so end user can always choose which dashboard he wants to see. Right. So this is a quick uh, reference point. Your sales manager actually wants to you know, come and have a quick look into you know, how well the performance has been. So this is where you actually do that particular thing. All right. Now these dashboards are connected to your reports. For example, if uh, you know your data is getting updated in the database, the reports are also getting updated. Correct. And based on the data which is getting refreshed in the report, dashboards are also refreshed. So this is a dynamic kind of a dashboard. So you know time to time it will keep on changing based on the data that changes in the report. So which is a good thing. So you always don't have to go and do it or you know you don't have to create the dashboard and all this stuff. So just have the dashboard and your end users can come. End user can be anyone, can be a decision maker in the company or whatever. They can come and have a look on these dashboards. Right? Okay. So let me know if anyone has a question or doubt here with the report or 